Today we're learning how to make videos and this is an in video tutorial and we're going to be editing with the basic and the advanced timeline. What's up everybody? This is Roman Grant with Empire Vid back with another video. And this is my how to make video series with the online video editor in video. And we're going to be diving deep into the advanced timeline so that you can see how to best edit your videos and make them more eye-catching, more visually effective, and just an all-around better video. Now, if you want to just get to know the platform of InVideo and get to know how to sign up and what the benefits and features are of this online editing platform, then I'll link in the description and put a card so that you can get to my first video, which is the overview of the editing platform and the features. I'm gonna put a link to InVideo in the description along with my coupon code so that you can save 40% off one of the paid plans. Without further delay, let's jump into the video. So when you're first starting out editing videos with InVideo, you'll want to start using uh, the basic timeline, which is what is pictured here. The basic timeline is very simple and easy to edit videos with, so don't complicate things um, by trying to edit with the advanced timeline until you've got a good grip on this platform. All of the features that InVideo offers can be used with the basic timeline. Using the basic timeline, all of your editing for the elements of your video will be done either using this canvas here or your layers panel. Now, even if you use the basic timeline, you're still gonna be able to create eye-catching videos that will amaze people. But eventually, you'll want to upgrade your skills, so that's when you're gonna start editing in the advanced timeline. Now, in order to get to the advanced timeline, you would just click on timeline. Now, obviously, you're not gonna to wanna to always be in the advanced timeline view. For easier, less technical scenes, the basic timeline's gonna work great. But right now we're going to be creating an animated scene with a lot of different animations so that you can see how the advanced timeline works and how you can use it to your advantage. And you'll soon be making advanced videos with a lot of animations and a lot of different actions being performed by the different elements in your scene. So let's see how it's done. First, I'm going to add some text. I'm going to copy this a couple of times. Okay, I might not need that many. Delete those. Then I'm going to add a couple of lines. Make a couple of those as well. Now normally I would upgrade the fonts and the colors of this scene, but there's really no need because all I'm trying to do is give you a good understanding of the advanced timeline and how to utilize it to make your videos really stand out. So what I want to do here is I want to animate all of these text and lines uh, to get them to come into the scene at different times so that it's more engaging. Now with the advanced timeline, it's very similar to your layers panel where you're looking down on the scene and all of these elements are from top to bottom. So this is a line right here and you can rename it if you want to by pressing this button. So if you wanted to change the order of the layers, you can just move them up or down. Now that's going to come into play when you have a background and different pictures on your scene. But since I don't have a background, it really doesn't matter to me. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and shift the text up to the top. And then all of these elements right here are my lines. Now, if I was to play this scene as it is, you can see that the text just kind of appears. So I'm going to work on this word first. Now, if you look up here at the top, there is a ruler for the timestamps. And if you drag the playhead, then you can um, see that you can get pretty specific on the time frame. So you can put it to 2.41 seconds or you can put it to three seconds right on the dot. And this right here tells you how long the duration of the layer is. So this layer is 11.5 seconds. So the first word is don't and that was going to be, um, it's lasting for the duration of the scene, but it's going to be starting at the 0.5 second mark. So I really don't have to do anything more to the first word. 
Now, as for the second word, forget, I can either select it here or I can select it here on the canvas. Now, I want there to be a one second gap in between each of these words. So all I have to do is drag this side of it to the place where I want it. And since this scene is starting at 0.5 seconds, I'm gonna want this one to start at 1.5 seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, same thing to this. Since this one is at 1.5 seconds and I want a one second uh, gap, I'm going to put this at 2.5 seconds. And then I'm gonna put this one at 3.5. Now I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these lines. Okay, so let's see what I have so far. All right, okay, it's getting there. But obviously we're not done yet. Now I don't need a 12 second scene, which is what I have now. I only really want it to be eight seconds. So in order to edit the scene time in the advanced timeline, I can just drag this bar now I can drag it to the right to lengthen the scene time, or I can drag it to the left to shorten it. And I wanna put it at eight seconds. Now I can also zoom in, which I wanna do, make it a little bit bigger. If you look closely, when you move it, you can see these little grid lines. Those are to help you line up the different elements on your scene. So if you're having trouble lining things up, make sure to pay attention to those. Okay, then I'm just gonna align the text here. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Now let's see what we've got so far. Okay, not bad, but we're still not done. Now I'm going to go to the layers panel where I'm going to add an animation to each one of these elements. So click on your element and then click edit. Scroll down to where the animation button is. Now I'm just going to choose a different animation for each one of these elements. Okay, I'm done animating each of these elements. Let's see what we got. And there we go. Now, if you drag the playhead on your timeline, you'll be able to see the timing of the different animations. So it gives you a lot of control on your elements and their animations. So if I wanted to find out when this uh, first line comes into the scene, all I have to do is drag this down. And as you can see, it comes in right at the three and a half second mark. And if you click on the element, you'll see that the reason being is because the animation duration for the uh, animation that I chose is one second. So this line doesn't come into the scene right at the three second mark like you would think because of what this bar says. It actually comes in later on because there's a duration. Now I'm gonna get a little crazy with this and I'm going to add some exit animations as well. So since all of the animations end at about four and a half seconds, I'm going to put my exit animations to start at about five seconds. So I wanna animate these elements to leave the scene in the order that they came into the scene. So I have to start with the last line and I'm going to shorten each one. But remember to give yourself some leeway because there is an animation duration that you'll have to uh, account for. So leave yourself a good half a second on each one. Okay, so I'm gonna give each element a half second gap. Okay, so I ran out of space. I need to make this uh, scene longer. Now be careful because if you lengthen the timing of your scene, it will lengthen each of the different layers also, just like if you were to shorten it. I'm going to undo these. Now I've got it at nine and a half seconds, right where I want it. This, I wanted it to be at six and a half, and then a half second interval in between. Okay, now I just have to add an exit animation to each element. 
Now when I select the element, I come over here to animation. The animation that we had before was the inward animation. This is going to be the exit or the out animation. Make sure that's selected and then choose your animations. Okay, now that I've got all of my elements animated on the way out, let's see what we got. So that's how you use the advanced timeline to give your elements different animations so that they can go in and out of your scenes. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you got something out of it. In my next video, we're going to be working with advanced text and graphic animations. Make sure to leave me a like and leave me a comment and let me know what you like better, either the basic or the advanced timeline. And don't forget about the link in the description with my coupon code that's gonna save you 40% off one of the paid plans. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.